Here we go guys We're going back out stealth camping oi, oi. With the human dorsal fin Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Ready Mick? Oh yes You better believe it Oh yes, Mandingos. Oh, yes. Welcome back to the Blot Outdoor Show. Back out on another stealth camp with my little man friend, little Schmickeroony. Yeah, we've just parked the van on the other side of this building and we were going to just cut through over there and walk straight through the car park. But as we were getting out the van, this <laughs> security guard came out. Spit of Harry Hill, by the way. <laughs> he, he's came out and he had his eyeball on us. So we've came round the long way. We're going to make our way round through these bushes, either that way or it might be up there, Mick. I think we've got a fence to jump over, so I'll have to give Mick a hand job. Air matron. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to give Mick a hand over the fence. Then we're looking in the woods for a hut, like a hut or a shed. Somebody sent us a photograph of it telling us where it is they sent us like a a picture of a uh, you know like from google maps or, or google earth so we've got a good idea where it is we're just hoping that there's no little shit hanging around mick i know he's a little shit but we're hoping there's no more little shit hanging around because it looks like the perfect place for youngins to sit smoke the green have a few cans so fingers crossed there's no one there or this camp is buggered anyway guys i will bring you back when we get a little bit closer to our camping spot. You better believe it, Mandingos. Ah. Oh. Are you some Johnny Knoxville? Right folks, we're on private property here. I'm expecting Harry Hill to come back out in a second and tell us to move on. So we know we've got to get over, there's a fence here. We've got to get over here at some point. We're just hoping we can get up as far as we can before Harry Hill comes out. We could get over there, but when I was looking on Google Maps, you've got that building there, and then you've got the next one just there, and then the hut is in the bushes over in that direction. So the further we can sneak up this car park, Schmick, the less walking we've got to do. Through the nettles and stuff like that, guys. How are they? Why, you slim. Just slowly making our way through these woods, folks. Should be no longer than five minutes. So 
so through the trees there you've got the car park and you've got loads of buildings them's the gen 2 buildings the barclays one i camped at a few weeks ago is about a five minute walk over past the buildings and that way you can hear the traffic through there you've got the a19 motorway well it's not a motorway it's a dual carriageway but it's as busy as a motorway yeah so it's going to be more the same guys we've got loads of cans plenty of waski stick around for the world famous waski with you coming later where me and mick will be smashed as usual <laughs> we've got some nice food to cook guys we've got some burgers with chorizo and cheese and barbecue sauce oh i'm looking forward to that loads of snacks as usual and um, just trying to find the best route through here guys i will bring you back in a minute right Are you some Kent survival? Yes. Oh, 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 oh. So here we are, folks. We're approaching our home for tonight. Thank God there's no one here. Yes, that's ideal. Me and Mick for our seats there. We'll lay our air beds out inside. Oh, it stinks of like paraffin or something. Not bad, Schmick. Yeah. I've camped in worse places. Well, guys, this is going to have to ding dang do for these two man dingoes. We're going to make the place nice and comfy now. Get our bags off, get some things laid out. I don't think any young'uns is going to be coming around now. A nice warm night. It's really warm, it's really stuffy. The young'uns will be hanging about in parks now or, or down the beach. This is probably somewhere they come when it's raining and you know when they want a big cover so they can sit and drink the cans. Anyway guys, I'll bring you back in a second when we're getting our stuff laid out. <laughs> you better believe it, man goes. Cheers, man, dingoes. Cheers. Cheers, schmick. Cheers. We've just getting all our gear set up. Sorry if you can't hear us for all the traffic noise from the A19. Aye. We're choking for a drink. So we're having a nice can of whiskey and coke. It's just them cheap ones from Aldi's. Like a copy version of Jack Daniels and Coke. But do for me and you, Mick. Still nice. Oh yes, still nice. We're going to sit, we're going to enjoy this. And then when we've chilled out, we'll show you our setup. We'll show you all our drinks and all our food. We've got somewhere there to keep the food. I'll have to keep quiet. Because Harry Hill's on patrol in the car park there. <laughs> oh, he's a good looking man. He didn't like us, did he? As soon as he got his eyes on us. He was all over us like a cheap coat. 
But, like I say, we've come the long way around and now we're sorted. So, like I say, I'm going to finish this off Mandingos and I will bring you back very soon. You know what I'm talking about. Okay then my fan sexuals, time to show you mine a little mix set up for tonight, mix it in there, chilled out now, there's my little red seat, show you our drinks first guys, we've got a nice half bottle of white and Mackay, that's been kindly given to us from a legend by the name of Simon Cook. Cheers Simon, my man friend. We've got four cans of Madri, two of them each. You know it makes sense. We've got four cans of this. Well, we did our four, we've already just drank one each. Blood, blood orange, get your words out, Chris. This is the cheap version from Aldi's. We've had one each already, like I've just said, it's not quite as nice as the Thatcher's one, but it's a little bit cheaper. To be honest, I think it's worth paying a little bit extra for the Thatcher's one. But it'll ding dang do for me and the little human dorsal fin. Oh yes it will. You better believe it will. Okay the man dingoes. Time to show you our food for tonight. Now we haven't brought any rice out so there's no Uncle Bensky beat international playboy bunny boron shoes British gas price are far too high and lifetime achievement awards for the rich and famous man dingoes. Rice you better believe it. There's none of that man dingoes. What we have got for our main meal tonight is two of these ultimate burgers from Aldi's. We're going to put some of this. We've got a Spanish meat and cheese selection. So on top of the burgers, we're going to put some chorizo and some cheese. We've also got two of them each. Minted lamb kebabs. You know, on a skewer or a stick, wherever it is. So that's our main meal. We've got a nice bun dingo each there for the burgers. And we're also going to have some of this bullseye barbecue sauce. Very nice that, guys. Very nice indeed. Right, for snackaroonies, like I said, we've got that Spanish meat and cheese. We will tuck into that. We've got a packet each of that. Spanish... Ham, Spanish Serrano ham, is that how you say it guys? And we've also got some Browns Bill Tongski. You know the score guys. Uh, check the link in the description of this video for Browns Bill Tong. Click that link, that'll take you through their website. Use the code MANDINGO for your discount. I think that's it. Oh, we've also got some short arse fingers. I mean, sorry Mick, didn't make to say short arse. Short bread fingers. <laughs> we've got a coffee each somewhere for in the morning yep I think that's it I think I've covered everything guys yep that's everything well me and Mick are now going to have a Spanish lager while we're tucking into some Spanish meats and cheeses so on that note guys I am going to see you Arvira soon and I will bring you back in a few minutes haha <laughs> nice nice right <laughs> getting dark now guys but it's not cooling down it's still red hot but I'm not going to complain about that all the times we have to camp out in the freezing cold weather We'll enjoy this nice weather, oh, Mick. Yes. You better believe it. So while we're chilling, guys, 
Might as well answer a little question. And the question is, when are we gonna do some more van camps? You know, just sleeping in the back of the old rusty John claude Van Sexual. It's been quite a while since I've done one. I think the last time I've done a van camp was with the two Chris's, a good year and a half ago, something like that. If you look back to the early videos, that's all we were doing at first, going out for a hike, sleeping in the back of the van dingo, me and Mick, yeah. me and Mick, or, wait, it was me, you, and sometimes Davy Crangle, yeah. our workmate who works with us. Check out Davy's channel, DC Outdoors. I'll leave a link in the description for Davy's channel. Yeah, Davy was in two or three of my early videos. I so I'd done a few van camps with Mick, and then some with Mick and Davy, and then I'd done a few with uh, Cowboy Chris, and then a few with Cowboy Chris and Young Chris, but I haven't done one for ages now. So, the answer to that question is, man, goes. when will I do another van camp? I'm going to have to do some soon. Eh, uh, I've got a hernia in my belly button. I'm not going to show you. I don't want to put you off your supper. But it's, it's getting worse, it's getting bigger. I've been to see the surgeon. <laughs> and I'm, I'm booked in for, a, for an operation. Which will be about four months time five six months I don't know he said it'll be about four months but you know what it's like it could take longer yeah I got told that I'll have to have a good month off work when I have the operation well if I've got to have a month off work that's just the way it goes man dingoes but there's no way I'm having a month off from my camping videos I'm not even going to have a week off no way no way Pedro You'll be quite happy to do a van camp, oh, won't yeah. you, Mick? Quite happy. Been a while since I've done one. The, it used to be good, isn't it? Way I good crack. A long time. I hope you guys don't mind when that happens. Obviously, I can't be hunting a good big bag on my shoulders, you know. Carrying Chris this time. <laughs> He'll be carrying me. You can carry all the weight. <laughs> I'll get Mick's little bag and he can carry my big bag. <laughs> Aye, so, yeah, I can't be carrying a good big bag after I've just had an operation. With, with all the camping gear in and loads of food and drink and whiskey and <sighs> cooking equipment, pots and pans and everything. But I'm determined to get out and still make them videos for you absolute legends. And for me, this is what I love to do. Do you know what I mean? I'd be still going out and making these videos even if I didn't have the YouTube channel. Yeah, so what we'll do, Mick, we'll get in the old van dingo like we used to do. In the early days of the channel, we can still go over to the Lake District and we'll just park up somewhere, you know, by the side of a lake in a beautiful location. And we'll just, <laughs> there'll not be much hiking going on. I'll not be able to hike up no mountains or anything like that. But I don't think you guys will mind. We'll sit, we'll have a few candingos, a few waskies, Mick. Oh, yes. Yeah, we'll deep still deep. do the waski review. <laughs> you better believe it, Mick. And we'll still cook some food and talk loads of shite. Yep, so that's that question answered, guys. I'm going to have to do some van camp soon when I have my operation. This legend will be joining me. Oh, yes, I'll be definitely have. The two Chris's, I know them two will be up for a van camp. Them two can go off on a hike. The two Chris's can go off hiking up the mountains. I'll just sit. <clears throat> I'll just sit by the side of the lake having a few cans and talking shite to you guys. Anyway, man, dingoes, that's enough of me talking shit for now. I'm going to bring you back very soon. I think we might have a nice little chest warmer. <laughs> See you soon, guys. Okay then my fan sexuals, it's just started to rain. So me and 
the human dorsal fin. We're going to jump inside the old love shack. Before we do that, I'm going to quickly show you our setup. I forgot to show you earlier on when I was showing you the food. I forgot to show you where we're sleeping. So I'll quickly give you a look now, man, dingoes. So I've put the old tarparooni down on the bottom just so our sleeping pads don't get dirty. As you can see, there's our sleeping bags. My stinking old four season one that is down there. There's a little mix. His bags down the bottom. There's my old Baghdad down there. Err. We've got the foil mats down so the coal doesn't get through onto us. Sleep mats there. Oh! We have a visitor. Get out of it. That's all we need. Yep, that's it, guys. Simple. Top down. <laughs> what the hell's going on here? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry, folks. Top down. Foil mats down. Sleeping pods. Sleeping bags. Easy as that. In the old love shack. Love shack, baby. You know, makes sense. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Why are you some Tom Cruise? Oh yes, I am. <laughs> Time for another candingo, mandingo. Oh, yes. You not make sense. Right. Ah. Uh. Time for a little chest warmer. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, yes. Little schmick hogging the waski. Too right, chicka. It's only a cheek waski, but it'll ding dang do for these two man dingoes. Oh. You better believe it will, Mick. What a chest, right? Up. It is, it's a good chest warmer. It might taste like shit, <laughs> but it's a good chest what warmer. Oh, yes. Well, guys, me little schmick, we're gonna sit and finish this waski off. We're gonna have some more. Snackaroonies, and we're just going to kick back and relax. And when we bring you back, we will be doing the world famous Waski review. Oh, yeah, you know, it makes total <laughs> sense. <laughs> Licicles. Just been stretching my legs, man, dingoes. Here I am back at the old love shack. And the main man, dingo, is sitting there. Yeah. Ready and waiting for the world famous Waski with you. Ready for the with you, man, dingo? Oh, yes, yes. Two lice. Oh, yes, man, dingoes. 
You know what time it is. Waski time. time. Two rice mandingos. And this is what we've got this week. White and Mackay. Blended Scotch waski. We're just doing a bog standard waski with you this time. Kindly given to us from a legend by the name of Simon Cook. Cheers, Simon, my man friend. Very much appreciated. Little Schmickeroonie has got the old famous Cub Dingo Man Dingoes. Get that lifted up there, Mick. Yes. Let's get that poured in. The old famous Cub Dingo Man Dingoes. There's not much left. Okay then, Schmick. I'll get my Schmickeroonie in at first. You better believe I will. Oh. A very malty straight away guys and dare I say it's a funny old smell schmick like a smell of iron I know that's weird I don't normally get that in whiskey this is just a, a bargain bucket one yeah like a smell of iron I don't know if that's coming from the metal cup or what but like I use the metal cup all the time don't I and I don't get that iron smell. The old iron dingo, man dingo, is the same the do down ski. A bit of iron. Any yeah. old iron, any old. Nah. Bit of varnish at all. <laughs> varnish. Varnish. Is a gig? Varnish. What do you mean, like varnish when people like varnish the oh. doors? Like the old wax on, Sorry. wax off, Daniel song. Right. Do you know what it is? I kind of see what you mean there with the old varnish dingo, man dingo. Yeah, you know when you've, you put new doors on inside your house and you do the old Mr Miyagi, the old wax on wax off with the, um, the varnish dingo. I can see what you're talking about there. I wouldn't have said that, mind. I, I wouldn't have said that. But that's now that, that the old Schmickerubel said it, I can't get, it's like a, I don't know, like a, like an iron, like an industrial uh, sort of smell, dingo, man, dingo. Is this in the south of France? Well, I'm also getting maybe a little bit of a buttery smell. Anyway, that's enough of the sniffing. Let's get on with the tasting. Right. right. It's not the best straight away I can tell it's not the best but it's not roof it's not roof <laughs> it's not roof it's not rough but it's also not smooth at the same time the whiskey's taking effect now guys I've had a few ciders and a few beers and a kind of Jack Downs and Coke knock off Jack Downs and Coke a few whiskies. Yeah, it's not rough and it's not smooth at the same time. There you go, Shrubal. You get a taste of that, Mandingo. Now that I'm licking my lips, I'm getting a, like, a bit of a sherry taste. Don't let me influence you, little dingo man. What are you getting? Yeah, it's not as rough and not as smooth and same time at all again. It's not. <laughs> I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. It's not rough. It's I'm, not. I'm getting the same what you get. It's not burning your. Say, it's nah. not burning your throat. Aye. But it's not too smooth either. Nah. It's just. It's it's a funny old one, isn't it? Show you a bit neither. Now for me, it's very grainy mandingos. I know you can get some single grain waskies, but this ain't one of them, it's a blended waski. But it's got a very greeny taste about it. And 
and it's got a ah it's not a nice aftertaste i've got to be honest but i am in the aftertaste mick i'm getting some dried fruit yeah you get your lips wrapped around that mending wall matron some i'm getting some dry fruits and the tiniest little bit of sherry now i love a sherry and i know that, you like your sherry because your dad likes a sherry doesn't he like mick's dad likes a sherry so little mick has the odd sherry in the house with his dad yes, dingo so i am getting a little sherry in that there sorry guys if this with you isn't the best one but I've got to be honest, Mick's got to be honest, it's not the best waski we've ever had, is it? Yeah. So we're not really inspired this time, but we'll still give an honest review, if you know what I'm talking about, Mandingos. Yeah, not the best. I'm getting some very slight sherry flavors coming through and some dried fruits. I'm not going to slaver on too much. Here on Mick, you finish the last of that off. White and Mackay. Kindly give it to us from a lovely fella, Simon Cook. Cheese Mandingo. Very much appreciated. But let's be honest, it's a. No disrespect to anyone. It's a bargain bucket. Waski. And it is what it is. I'm su surprisingly getting the flavours that I'm getting from it, considering it's just a cheap waski. I'm going to give it. Bog standard, five out of ten dingo bandingos. Oh yes, you better believe I am. Schmicker Rubel, what is your score, dingo mandingo? I would give it four point seven out of ten. Four point seven. <whistles> Not very good scores this way, guys, but that's just the way it goes on the Blood of Door show. You know what I'm talking about. This is serious stealth coming right, right. Boom. <laughs> Yes, Meg. Oh yeah. Why are you it so sense. Why are you so mad, dear man? Oh yeah. <laughs> You're better than him. <laughs> <laughs> Get the cheese on guys. You know it makes sense. We will give that a couple of minutes and then we'll get the barbecue sauce on. Oh, oh yes. Let's get that pop in the bunding go. Fresh out. The old pan sexual. 
The old pansexual. Hey, go schmick, your burger's done. Oh, yes. Here you are, mate. Come on, Garris. There's two there, mate. You tip your pick. Barbecue sauce on, mate? Aye, a little bit, mate. A little bit. Rice. Right. Oh, there you go, mate. Sorry, man, didn't go. Sorry, man. Man, didn't go. Get that on there. You better believe it. Yeah, Let's get the kebabs on. Your lamb kebabskis. Oh, yeah. Schmick. Yeah. How's the burger, mate? Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> oh Mick. Drop these guts again. Right Schmick? Yeah. That's it. Lamb kebabs are done. Two for me and two for you. Oh, yes. Right. There you are, man. Dingo. There you go, my little man friend. See ya, yeah. Be red hot, mind. Be absolutely red hot. Oh yeah, that's what I like to see. I'm gonna get stuck in the mine in one minute. Oh yes, Manding goes. Time for some minted lamb kebabs. Yours nice, Mick? Really nice. Little schmick's tucking into his. He's nearly finished. Here we go. Mm. It's 2.30 in the morning, the birds are just starting to chirp. Me and little Schmick are going to finish these and we're going to climb straight in the sleeping bag and get some sleep. Mmm. It's been absolutely fantastic night camping. The perfect place. I was a bit chewed when I turned up here. I was thinking, will there be anyone here? Will anyone turn up once we're here? But it's been absolutely fantastic. Been good as Mick. Last man. Last. Been brilliant. Anyway, man, then goes while I'm finishing this last minted lamb kebab. Mmm, tremendous. I'm gonna say a massive thank you to everyone who has supported the Blood Outdoor Show this last week. Honestly, guys, you don't know how much. I appreciate you. Mm. You're the best subscriber any YouTuber can ever wish for. And it's so kind of you. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. That was absolutely tremendous. And you guys are absolutely tremendous. Just for you to go out your way 
and buy me a coffee it's so kind of you like I see every week guys I'm absolutely over the moon if you only watch my videos give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment that for me is unbelievable but if you have gone out your way and if you have bought me a coffee this week this one's for you you absolute bunch of legends there's your names down there and then and down there guys thank you so much each and every one of you you're amazing and thank you so much really do appreciate it <laughs> I'm waffling on now guys because we've had a few lagers a few ciders and a few waskies we've eaten our food and me and Schmick we're ready to go to sleep now guys once again I thank you you absolute legends for supporting the Plot of Dorsha this last week cheers guys I'll bring you back in a minute you better believe I will right oh Well folks, it's 2.45 in the morning, I'm shattered, I'm going to go in the sleeping bag now and get some sleep. The human dorsal fin is absolutely bushed, uh -huh. ready for some sleep mate? Oh yeah. Been a good night hasn't it? Yeah, absolutely class. Always is, it's always a good night when the main man dingo is camping with the human dorsal fin. Well man dingoes, it's been an absolutely fantastic night. There's a schmick. He's just woke up, he's been asleep, he's woke up and he's heard me talking. Have you enjoyed it mate? That's been class. Time to get some sleep now mate? Yeah, yes. We're both shattered. It's been a great night. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Oh yes, this is the best bit, when you get nice and snug, next to me little man dingo, man friend, ready for some snoozles, I see you legends in the morning, a coffee time, coffee and a few shortbread biscuits, short ass biscuits mate. Oh, <laughs> Good night, guys. Good night. See you in the morning. Night. Ricicles. Good morning, Mandingos. Eight thirty-five. Oh, he's up. He's up. Whoo! I've just woke up, so I'm not even sure yet if I've got a hangover or not. I don't feel like I have. I don't feel like I've got a headache or anything. <laughs> Sometimes it takes a few minutes to kick in, doesn't it? Oh. Right. I'm going to get a quick slash, Gordon. Oh. Belly's rumbling a bit. So I might have to go and find somewhere to have a pat of John Preach. Oh, you know what I'm talking about, Manding was a good old Papa New Guinea. Oh. <laughs> then I'm going to get a coffee on for me and the human dorsal fin. Bring you back in a second, guys.
So that's it folks, we're all packed up and ready to go. There's Mick's mini Baghdad, there's my Baghdad, the old bin diesels down there. Let's have a quick look inside the hut so you can see we've left it nice and tidy. We've left it better than we found it. Air matron. That was a long one. <laughs> How are then, Mick? Oh, well. There's a way. Here we go, Mandingos. Mick's leading the way. And we're out of here. Right guys, we've gone to the fence to climb and we're going to cut through the car park at the Gen 2 buildings. Hopefully the security guard, Harry Hill, isn't there. You just take your time, Schmick Rooney. I wouldn't want you falling for everyone's entertainment. <laughs> well done, mate. I was going to ask if you needed it, aren't I? <laughs> ah, you done. You done well, mate. No one around. Nothing they can do now, anyway. <laughs> we'll just say, sorry, mate. We'll not come through again. I can just see the old van dingo there popping its head above the bushes. There she is, folks. The old rusty van dingo. She's an absolute thing of beauty. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, yes. Well that's it guys, that's the end of another stealth camping video. I've had a great time, have you enjoyed it Mick? Absolutely class. It was, it was really really good. I always enjoy it when little mix out, I know you guys do as well. Anyway, if you've enjoyed it Mandingos, please give me and Mick a thumbs up, leave a comment, I do read every one, and hopefully it's not too long before little Schmickaroonie's back out again. Right. Yes. Um, what's my plans for the next week or so? There'll be another foodie video next week guys. On the Friday night, next weekend, I'll be back out stealth camping by myself. You better believe I will. And I think the week after, I might be back in the Lake District. If not, it'll be the week after that. Anyway, guys, that's it. We've had a great time. Like I say, I hope you've enjoyed it. And I will see you next week, as usual. Yes. See you later, guys. Right. <laughs> right. Oh, uh, air matron. Uh.